What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris rewards from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was Memento, another new Taken King map that we've never seen in Trials before. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Memento overall in a majority of the game modes. I haven't been a fan of this map ever since it came out in the Taken King, but to be honest it wasn't that bad of a map just because I enjoy sniping a lot and there were a lot of long lanes of sight on this map so it wasn't too bad, but I still prefer other maps over this one. But anyways, let's get into my loot from this weekend. Starting off on my first character on my Warlock from the Lighthouse Chest. We ended up getting ourselves a super good advice exotic machine gun and motes of light. So my primary slot ended up being full on that one and it was sent to my postmaster instead. So heading back to the postmaster to see what I ended up getting. We got a water star hand cannon at 313 attack. Pretty average drop overall but at least I got an exotic out of that first one. And then for my Trials Bounties on my Warlock, we ended up getting some Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Legendary Marks for the first few. For the Silver tier, we got Unlucky with no Exotic on that one. And for the Gold tier, my inventory ended up being full again for that Gold tier reward. So back at the Postmaster, we ended up receiving a Tamarin Rocket Launcher at 300 attack. So pretty decent Rocket Launcher overall for Crucible if you can get the Grenade and Horseshoes perk on it. Moving into my next character on my Hunter from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves a Water Star Hand Cannon once again, and this time it came in at 319, which was pretty cool, and it also had Hidden Hand as the special perk or the unique perk on it, so that was actually a really good drop. I think Hidden Hand is a pretty solid perk for that Hand Cannon. And then going into my bounties on my hunter, we ended up getting more passage coins, motes of light, and legendary engrams. From the silver tier, we got no exotic once again. And for the gold tier, I ended up getting an armor piece. So we got some gauntlets out of that one at 306. And it had intellect and discipline with auto rifle reloader, which is pretty cool. Actually a really good drop. I actually really appreciate that gold tier. That was one of the best gold tiers I've got in quite a while. And then finally for my last character of the weekend on my Titan from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting ourselves a Reflection Sum Adept and 5 Motes of Light. And this one came in at 311 with Head Seeker on it. So pretty decent perk, but the attack value was kind of low. And then for my last set of bounties on my Titan, we got more Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. From the Silver Tier, we got Unlucky once again with no Exotic. And from the gold tier, we got the Unseeing Eye Machine Gun at 307. So pretty solid machine gun overall. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!